So I sort of see that no one's like looked at my uh, math videos. So um, let me just um, let me um, sort of go back to the beginning of group theory because I see that's probably, if in other words, I um, probably need to explain it as if uh, as if I was trying to learn it and I need to understand it myself and not assume that I know everything. Um, I have to know I have that problem when I'm explaining stuff. Um, should we need to, all right, so let me explain basically what, what a group is. Um, well, a group is um, a set of objects, and, and also try to explain why I make diagrams or why why diagrams are used for groups. Um, well, the first thing about um, about a group is um, that it's a it's a set of objects, um, set of numbers or um, or or, or, uh, or objects actually, I think objects, but they're they're connected by a um, a property. It can be either plus, um, and if it's actually a plus, then you're, I guess you're dealing with uh, linear algebra. And if the the group property is times, well then you're sort of out of linear algebra, more into vector spaces. Um, but it can be almost pretty much any operation that you can imagine, and um, so uh, I guess it would be mod modal, actually, modal arithmetic also. So, um, anyway, it's a group of objects that are connected by a certain operation, for instance, plus or, or times, and um, they stay inside that set. And what, 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 what you can mean by a set, and I guess this is maybe something I should have explained, is like, I guess you know that we have like, um, you could have like an, uh, something like this, you have an x-axis and, and a y-axis, you can see over here, and so then you can have an area inside this this space, right? You don't even have to. It doesn't have to have follow any rule. Just have all the things that are inside that area. This will be like one point in it, and this will be another point. And this will be another point. And uh, hey, that'll oh, and uh, yeah, that'll be another point. That'll be another point. And uh, that'll be another point there. And. Um, That'll be like a point. That'll this could be like a, another like another um, subgroup or something, right? So there'll be certain points inside of this set over here, okay? And these can be connected by a certain property. Let's say you have um, what this plus that will equal that, or that plus that will equal that. But they always have to stay inside the set. So. Um, So that would be that's what sort of mean by a group. Um, also, wow, okay, very important. Every everything inside the group um, has to include its inverse. Let's say you have a is inside the group, which represents a certain number. Let's say it's uh, two. So you have to have um, one over two. Its inverse means like the two times the whatever your number is that uh, it has to have the thing that if you multiply it by then you get uh, one so two times one half equals one three times one third so everything inside the group has to have its own inverse if a is inside of it then you have a divided by the one divided by a so that's uh, groups then you have uh, cosets which uh, cosets are um, if you take let's say a set inside of that um, inside of that, inside of the larger group, okay, you have like a subgroup, let's say two of the elements of your subgroup are A, B, C, and your whole group is A, B, C, D, E, etc., or something, right, well, that subgroup has to have the same properties, right, A, uh, A, B, C, or is, let's say your subgroup, well, if you multiply anything by the other, um, or as many times as you do by the others, you always have to say stay inside the group, and um, a coset, would be let's say if um, you take some set, some of the some uh, some of some number outside of that smaller subgroup and you multiply the whole subgroup by it. Let's say uh, x is part of the bigger group, so you have x times a, um, and then and that's one element, and then x times b is another element, and x times c is another element. That'll be one type of coset. So that's a few of the preliminary concepts about uh, groups. Okay, thank you.